Hey guys, this is a quick video showing you how to combine these different mods. Okay, so the question was is how do I uh, combine multiple different mods that I've downloaded and make sure that they're compatible? Well, most of the mods that should be coming out now should be the data 3 dot pack. So I noticed that a couple of the mods coming out when they first started, they were just basically saying replace it in your data 1. I would not recommend replacing any files in your data 1. You shouldn't have to do this. You should just be able to use what's called a data 3 dot pack, which is just an archive that contains your mod. Uh, and mainly it's just overwriting values. So the idea is, is that if you've downloaded my mod, you get a data 3 pack that you'll see that you have these files uh, under that uh, download. Well, basically the idea is, is that these are the files that are overwriting uh, the different uh, various data sets uh, inside the game. So if we want to actually combine two different mods that mod two very specific things, we need to make sure that they don't have crossover compatibility issues. So for this, for example, you see that um, in the main folder section, I've got the AI, AI life, characters, maps, pres presence, uh, scripts, that kind of thing. So you can already, already start going under here and you'll see different files that I've already started modifying and that should give you a good idea of what I've already changed. So if you're trying to find a mod that you want to combine with my mod then you need to make sure that it's not erasing uh, or replacing some of these values because some of these values are dependent on other scripts as well so if you go in there and you start tearing out very specific parts uh, it will cause crashes and so that shouldn't be true necessarily if you remove say for example all the things related to the AI say you don't want any of the AI updates you might be able to get away with just going in here and tearing out all of AI, AI life, um, but you probably also want to make sure you get rid of anything else that you think might be AI related because even down underneath scripts I have other things that are also AI related. So um, you can always just ask me inside the, uh, the Discord. But let's say uh, that I want to go ahead and download another uh, asset or another mod rather. We can actually go here and I'll head over to the Dying Light section and we'll just pull up an example mod. So let's go ahead and say popular 30 days. We'll see what most people already have um, available. So say we want to have infinite stamina inside of our uh, inside of our game. Let's go here and actually I've heard a couple of people say this walk and run. So let's go to walk and run real quick. If we head over to the files section, uh, it should tell us what uh, what this thing is. And then if we hit this preview files content you'll see that they're actually replacing the data 2pack so it looks like they've created their own uh, version of the overwrite system so let's go in here let's just download this real quick I'll just say open and uh, and let's see what they've got so we've now downloaded this let's go ahead and open this up and you can see here that we have two folders so I'm gonna close everything but my well I'll just get it off to the side here so up on the top we have this new mod and down below we have uh, the I am Legion mod. So basically we're going to first look and see that there is no players folder. So anything under the players folder you can just immediately drag over. So um, if you want to extract this, uh, this download, so say let's go ahead and just throw this on the desktop here. And I'll go ahead and pull this up. I have way too many things open right now but so we've now extracted those files so I'm gonna go ahead and just close out the mod itself and we can see here we have this player folder so if I don't see that I already have um, a player folder inside of I am Legion then you can actually go ahead and just add that file but you want to want to first make sure that there's no other dependencies that would be related to this um, as well so what I would recommend is is that you go to your source uh, folder and go to that data 3 that you've downloaded in, in this case if it's for my mod just go to that data 3 and open that up I'm gonna go ahead and close this data 3 as that was a separate one in my mod staging area so I've got the one that's actually being injected into the game so once I have this open you're just gonna go under scripts and then just go under scripts in my mod as well so if you go under scripts and you can see here immediately that there's an input folder so I, I don't have an input folder present in my mod uh, so what you should be able to do uh, you shouldn't even really have to search much further all you should have to do is go back out to the the top of it there where you have these two folders grab those and then just drag them uh, well actually hang on 
I apologize, make sure you're back up at the very top at the root of the uh, data3 pack before you do this. Go ahead and just drag those into the data3.pack. Uh, as you can see, I'm using WinRare, uh, but I think several other uh, different um, archive uh, uh, browsing systems will do this, browsing software. So uh, once I've drugged that in, you should see that now you have the players uh, and you have the uh, scripts folder as well. So if you open that up, you should see the inputs. And that should be it. So you should now have these two different mods inside your game. Uh, and if you launch that, you should now have uh, I Am Legion along with Walk and, uh, Walk and Run. And you can do this as many times as you want. The challenge is, is that some of these things start to uh, have incompatibility issues as far as stability of the engine. So all I would recommend is do these one at a time and make sure to test the system first. So after you've combined that one mod uh, with, a, with the other, go ahead and launch and just try to run through like a quest or something like that to confirm that it works. Because if you go and start down, downloading like three or four different mods and start throwing them all in the same archive, uh, it's probably a only a matter of time before you corrupt uh, the game and end up with crashes and then you have to figure out which mod is actually causing it. Alright, thanks guys.